Hi guys, welcome to my channel Lush Gardener. I hope you guys are fine and are safe. So luckily in last video we were just talking about Farina and uh, over here I think that is a perfect example. Uh, there were some raindrops that happened to fall on this succulent. Uh, this is my Echeveria manual if you remember I had done uh, repotting recently and you can see there is some water droplets over here and uh, you can see just with one blow the water just flies off it doesn't even stay on the succulents that have uh, you know farina the water just turns into a droplet and with the slightest blow or probably if there is if you are from a place where there is a lot of strong wind they will easily uh, fly off so you can see how easily all of the water has just gone off and they were like just small little bubbles uh, uh, that were around the crown area because farina acts like a waxy coating you can see a lot of it got disturbed last time while repotting and it's not going to come back unfortunately always remember once your farina is disturbed it's not going to come back but the new growth that is going to start from the center will have uh, the complete leaf will have farina but the ones like over here as you can see it's disturbed uh, that's not going to come back again you can see over here as well basically uh, it has left my uh, fingerprint because usually our finger does have uh, you know those natural oil on the skin and uh, that's why you can see it has left a fingerprint on the succulent so this is what happens when you touch a succulent that has farina but a lot of times it's very difficult to uh, manage especially while repotting so you need to be extremely careful while handling a succulent that has uh, farina so guys, I hope that you liked this video. If you did, please hit the like button. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing to it. Until then, take care, stay safe and keep planting.